Look, you guys, I found vegetable police at You Save Car and Truck Rental. What's up, everyone? Mariah here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I have my friend here, Vegetable Police. But doesn't that look exactly like it? I think of it every single time I come and rent a car here. I guess we can call this uh, our first ever combo video with Vegetable Police and I. What's up, everyone? Mariah here, and I am coming to you today from Frankfurt, Germany. I just landed, I took a direct flight from San Juan to Frankfurt. It was about nine hours. Thankfully, I slept the majority of the flight, so I feel pretty decent. Gonna try to just stay awake, and I think I'm gonna be right on uh, Italy time. My next stop is going to be Olbia, and I'm gonna be checking out um, the area for about a week, and I'm getting on a catamaran for another week, and I'm basically fasting uh, during this time because it was a recommendation that Tone Vase had actually given uh, on one of his videos a few months back. Someone asked him, uh, if you don't know Tone Vase, he is a trader and so someone had asked him his tip for not dealing with jet lag as much and he recommended fasting. So I'm only about 15 hours in. I had a really, really small meal yesterday and um, my goal is to actually dry fast. So. I'll give you an update later. I'm looking and feeling really nerdy right now with these glasses on. Let me take them off. Okay, so, I <laughs> uh, just got to my Airbnb. It's a cute little bread, bed and breakfast. And it kind of reminds me of a dorm. I actually have stayed in a dorm before when I went to Australia. Um, that was like two years ago. It was like a dorm at a college because um, they were like out for winter break. It was so weird, but it was cool. Um, but no, it's cute. It's clean. There's like this um, shared dining room area with like a bunch of um, Sardinian treats and cold water in the fridge. So I'm always happy for that. I don't know why, but like I am so excited for my week here and then the week on the boat. Um, I haven't like felt the giddiness of like solo travel in like a really long time. I think the last time I did some solo travel was probably Bali in 2018, February I think. Um, just like being on an island with a scooter, there's amazing snorkeling here. I found so many amazing stops to make. The views are just stunning. I brought my snorkel gear. I brought everything I need to just have a really freaking good time. So I am stoked to explore in the morning. Like, this is a real deal smile. Like, I am so, so pumped. So, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm excited to share it with all of you too, my little adventures here. So, um, I think what I'm gonna be doing is doing a lot of taste testing of food. So, like, I am passionate about food. I mean, clearly, right? Like, I had a food truck business. Like, food has been, like, a central aspect of my life. And um, I wanna share with you all of the wonderful things um, that I find here in Sardinia and share with you my thoughts that if you come back one day and there's some really good things I try, you can try it too. So I would say that, I mean, cause that's like the point of what I always talk about in all these videos, right? The point of like, uh, or my goal here, I would say when it comes to food is, I wanna try a large variety of things. Um, I don't wanna overindulge to the point where like I feel too full. Um, I know that my body doesn't need that much food to be fueled at this point, cause I do have a lot of extra body fat. So I would like to just have small portions and taste a lot of different things and just not feel like um, stuffed. Um, I probably, I, I don't see myself really drinking much alcohol for the first five days that I'm here, maybe when I get on the boat, but I don't know why when I travel solo, I typically don't drink, and I don't know if that's because it's probably not a very safe thing to do when you're traveling solo, to potentially drink too much and uh, be in a different country, and then you're in jail before you know it, and then you're in handcuffs, and then you're calling your mom to bail you out of jail because you don't know what happened. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyways, that's all I have for you today. As always, I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day, and go on there and create a life that you love.